Hey crew, today we are in Valletta, the capital city of the island nation of Malta. You'll know this from different TV series and movies such as Game of Thrones and Gladiator, but today we're gonna to show you a different side of this city. We're gonna take a tour with a local guide and check out all of the sights and taste the treats that this wonderful place has to offer. Come along with us. So Gargoyle is here on Manuel Island in the Manuel Island Marina and we're going to have to catch a quick taxi ride over to the old city Valletta before we can start our tour. So here we go. What are you doing? What are you doing? What are you doing? I'm trying to... Oh, it's nothing. I'm trying to get us a car. <laughs> I'm, I'm trying to get us a car and not beat you with that camera. <laughs> We have learned in Europe that everybody uses the app Bolt, which is kind of like Uber, but it's not as expensive. So, um, the ride to Valletta will cost us about four to five euros, which is about the same price as taking the ferry over there. So, we're gonna take the short route on our way to Valletta, and then we're gonna bring the ferry back and have a little bit of walk back to Gargoyle. Wow. We got the big ride. I'm gonna go far. Okay. Oh no, actually, it's on this side, so I'm gonna go short. Riding in style. Look at this big van. I know. Brand new. <laughs> Even smells new. And we must have an excellent driver because this big car in this tiny little city is probably a challenge to drive. coat and a black bag is that correct that is correct okay. she's up by the fountain so oh, we're gonna go job, that away Bye. the triton fountain dedicated in 1959 is at the approach to the city gates and the figures of the tritons represent malta's links with the sea now we're trying to find our guides here oh, she's here she's looking for us we're looking for her we can't find her. It's the right fountain, right? I think we have liftoff. Hi. <laughs> nice to meet you. Nice to meet you. My name is Talita. I'm Kevin. Oh, say, how do you say your name again? Talita. Talita. Meet our guide for the day, Talita. Born in Brazil, Talita now calls Malta home, and today she'll be leading us on a series of 10 food tastings along with a walking tour of the city of Valletta. All right, here we go. City Gate is located at the entrance of Valletta. Originally constructed in 1569, the present gate, which is the fifth one to have stood on this site, marks the beginning of Republic Street, Valletta's main street, which goes all the way until Fort St. Elmo at the opposite end of the city. The buildings in the immediate vicinity of the city gate include the Parliament House, the ruins of the Royal Opera House, and the City Gate Shopping Arcade. Wow, I thought it was crowded the other day. It's really busy. It's really, really, really busy today. While you may think the ruins of the Royal Opera House date back to Roman times, this venue was actually designed by an English architect and was erected in 1866. This once beautiful and iconic building received a direct hit from aerial bombing during World War II, and after several abandoned plans to rebuild the theater, the ruins were redesigned, and in 2013, it once again started functioning as a performance venue. Oh, so, oh, so they've turned it into a theater. Yes, yes. Beautiful. Oh, look at that. Look at that. Crazy busy. It's a traditional event here. Yeah. And we have some places, pastizi, petita, 
um, salad with the traditional cheese. It's a very good place and charming too <laughs> with this extra tour. And we eat now. All the right, first sure. eat, it's a, a starter. It's, yeah. I think you are like it. Organizing our first course. Wow. Well, that just looks good. Thank you. Guys, then this is Maltese salad. And this is the cheese Maltese. It's from the milk of the sheep. It's been a great platter. We've got um, like a tuna fish patty, the local sheep cheese, a minced meat, the sausage is to die for, and then some of the local vegetables like capers and olives. And then this is to clean your palate afterwards, which is awesome. It's got bread with mint and capers and tomato. And it's... It's awesome. Uh, this tuna, I usually don't really care for seafood, but this tuna patty is it's good. insanely good. Yeah. We are trying not to eat too much because uh, we have nine more stops after this one. So. <laughs> Yeah, but I don't want to stop eating. We're going to nibble a bit more and then we're off to our next destination. Here we go. Next stop. Back down. Let's go. It's Upper Baraka Garden. Oh, yes. You see a beautiful view and an event here with the bumps. The bumps. The bumps. Yeah. Okay. And some street colorful doors. Uh, so this is very, very traditional, right? It's very traditional, yes. When you see, see this balcony, you know you are in Valletta. <laughs> was constructed in the 16th century by the Order of St. John. It was used primarily for signaling and ceremonial salutes, though it has been used in battle as recently as World War II. Now though, it is purely ceremonial. Well, it's now lunchtime because the gun goes off at noon and we are off to our next food stop. The Upper Baraka Gardens are a public garden and they offer a panoramic view of the Grand Harbor. The gardens were originally used by the Knights of the Order of St. John, but were open to the public following the end of the French occupation of Malta in 1800. In the park, there are several monuments and memorials to a number of prominent people, including Sir Winston Churchill. Here is the Palace Castile. It's built in 16th century by Knights of St. John. We quickly learned that walking anywhere in Valletta means walking past 500-year-old palaces, churches, beautiful food markets, as well as the occasional chocolate cart. So this is the hidden restaurant. Uh, yeah, the hidden restaurant. It's a local, local very good place and very traditional. On the mountains goes very nice. Ah. And uh, it started with a bakery. Oh. And the walls grow up, and today it's a restaurant. Restaurant. As we enter this historic restaurant, we pass over a glass floor, and below is a model of what this bakery looked like in past times. What a wonderful experience. This is just an absolutely wonderful stop for lunch, but it is loud in here. So what we've got is fish stew that's served with a wonderful homemade bread, perfect for dipping. And then of course for dessert, we have dates and pastry with salted caramel ice cream. Does it get any better than that? Now 
Now we're off in search of what may be my favorite food of Malta, the pastizi. Yes. You want ricotta and you want the Ooh, cool. Ricotta and peas. This is the most traditional in Malta. It's pastis. Okay. And they have character. You eat it with your hands. And there are two flavors here. One is pia and the other is ricotta. But we have a third. It's uh, with chicken. But most traditional pia and ricotta. It's the original. Ooh, we're getting full between the soup, the dessert, and these. We're getting really full, but we have five more stops, so here we go. Next stop, the Siege Bell Memorial. This monument commemorates all those heroes who gave their lives to protect others. Unveiled by Queen Elizabeth in 1992, the colonnaded belfry contains a Bordon Bell, the largest in Malta. The bell was cast by the world's largest bell founders in Loughborough, England. Next to the belfry is a bronze catafalque overhanging the bastion parapet and symbolizing the burial of the corpse of the unknown soldier at sea. We've seen the War Memorial Bell. Now, we're gonna head to the food market. Oh, so much food. Like a food food area? Yes. Yeah. Like a shopping. Shopping. Oh, okay. And here's the dish we've been waiting for. Wow. Look at all that. Look at that. This traditional rabbit egg. Holy wow. cow. Holy Let's rabbit. Turn it around. about food of Palooza. This market is fabulous. So we have scoped out the local market and now we're gonna go check out the waterfront and we're gonna finish this whole tour off with some local beer.
Stuffed full of food. Rabbit. Got a little bit of beer buzz. Oh, we had some wasco we wabbit. And uh, I think it's time to go back, take a nap. I think so. Yeah. Oh. If you like this food tour, we have another one uh, from Sardinia that you should definitely check out. And uh, I think that's it. That's it. Ciao for now. Ciao for now.